hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood and I'm here with the amazing Alexis with her movie Bambina. Let's take a look at a clip. Um, Alexis, um, congratulations on your film. Like, really, really, really. I, I found it such an experience to watch. Um, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Yeah, well, thank you so much. Um, I'm very honored to be screening with all of the amazing women that you I showcased know. last night. Honored to have you. It was really amazing. Um, so, Bambina um, deals with postpartum psychosis, and it's this one woman's journey as she faces it. Yeah, I mean, where did this inspiration come from in this particular story? Yeah, well, I um, I had sat down with uh, Claudia Marasca, who is our amazing lead in the film, mm. and I had been recommended to meet with her through a friend who was going to work with her on a project, but it wasn't working out timing-wise, and I just was looking to do a foreign language piece, mm. and um, Claudia speaks Italian, so her and I met, and we were just brainstorming different ideas to just create and collaborate on, because um, in this industry, you have to make your own opportunities. Yes. Um, and uh, she brought up postpartum um, depression and postpartum psychosis and some articles she had been reading, and I had a friend who went through postpartum uh, depression and psychosis, so it was a topic that was already on my mind as well. And then I left that meeting just really inspired by Claudia and just intoxicated by her as a human and wanting to create with her and create yeah. something powerful. And I couldn't get postpartum depression, postpartum baby blues and yeah. postpartum psychosis out of my mind. And it's a topic that women are afraid to talk about or bring up or bring yeah. up within their community of women and bring up to their husbands. and. I wanted to shed a light what it was like, what it is like um, at the extreme level. And I ended up meeting with Danny, our amazing writer. And I met with her after I'd met Claudia that morning. This and is great how I, you it was just, interact while the universe is looking it, after you. Yeah, the universe was looking after all of us. Yeah. Like it was a beautiful marriage. Um, and I, I was just telling Danny, I, Danny and I were working on another project together. And I was just telling her like, I can't get postpartum out of my mind. Like, I just met with this amazing actress. Like, I don't know if it's something you'd be interested in. And like, literally that night, she like, well, at the meeting, she was like, well, I have a friend who uh, is a therapist within postpartum depression wow. and works with women. And she ended up penning the script overnight. And literally, Claudia was leaving for Italy, and we we're like, we have to do this, and we have to do it now. So um, the funding came together quickly, and we pulled favors quickly and got a, an amazing crew together to make the film. So I think, wow. we, I think it was like we got the script on a Sunday or Monday, and then next thing we were um, getting it on its feet within a week. So uh, uh, that's amazing. Yeah. How amazing that all like joined together. And I love the fact that you had this great interaction meeting. And it's almost like, you know, because sometimes, you know, you feel there's a certain order of how you have to do things. And you got the inspiration from this actress and, and, and knowing her and, and, and that whole perspective. Mm -hmm. And then almost journeyed into it almost like the opposite way around that you'd normally mm -hmm. do. That's so wonderful. That's yeah. really, really awesome. I think it's remarkable. And it's so great when you find a team that are all passionate about creating this particular project. Now, I mean, I think, you know, speaking about a topic like this, mm -hmm. which I feel isn't spoken enough about, and I've certainly known people in my life that have suffered with it, um, uh, you know, isn't it great to sort of like, you know, uh, put out a story that either people have been affected by, people know someone's going through it, or it's educating people about it? How does that feel? It, it feels really good. We we did a screening as part of the um, the American Cinematheque does a, yes. a screening mm -hmm. called the Focus on Female Directors, mm -hmm. and I really saw there how that affected an audience in a different way. It, mm. I had this woman come up who was like, "I haven't told 
my husband or anyone that wow. I went through postpartum depression and wow. thank you for this film and I've had a lot of women come up to me after the screenings or, or men whose yeah. wives or mothers have gone through it and it's 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 a dark film yeah. and a lot of people ask why I took it to the extreme and I think it's to have that conversation I also left it as an open-ended yeah uh, I, I also left it open-ended for the audience to decide um, mm. does she take her life and the baby's life does she not yeah. and um, I know what it is in, in my mind in my yeah. story and my narrative as we end but each person comes away with a different experience yeah. so and it, it leaves room for a discussion which I think social cause based films like this it's important to to have a discussion and to shed a light on it yeah I mean honestly like I I think your your visuals were just out of this world, you know, and, and, you know, I love it when a filmmaker can just leave you in a moment and you're just left there. It doesn't quickly pan somewhere else, but you're just there mm -hmm. in a moment and particularly her moments of isolation and you really felt the isolation, you know, mm -hmm. um, obviously that's definitely your talent and skill set as well. Was that something that was important for you in terms of the actual, you know, filmmaking process of it all? Yeah, I um, I sat down with our DP and his name's Ben and he's phenomenal yeah. and so gifted, so talented. But this was the first project we worked on together. Oh wow! Um, and we've since worked on two other films together. Like I, I he's phenomenal and I I work with a lot of different DPs and mm. every process is different yeah yeah um, I work in the television space mm. I've worked with another amazing a DP mm. Alice Brooks who's a woman obviously yeah Alice. Um, <laughs> she's phenomenal but what was great about sitting down with Ben we had such a limited time so we had to be very specific yeah and I'm um, I love pulling inspiration images he loves pulling inspiration images so mm. we just started throwing ideas at each other and I'm a huge shot lister mm. um, but we also found beautiful moments um, in, in our locations and through what Claudia was doing with the baby yeah. or what she was doing with Matthew Del Negro like yeah. all of our actors were phenomenal yeah. so I felt very blessed that everyone just read the script and everyone jumped on board and was just down to create um, all the way from you know our, our actors our DPs all the way down to our amazing production assistants I mean let's let's talk about your actors like obviously you met you met Claudio even before you knew where you're mm -hmm. kind of taking this but like you have to have some really actors that you can trust to mm -hmm. go to those places yeah. um, and, 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 go, and be that vulnerable and have those conversations. What was the casting like for you? And then obviously creating that together and put, putting that together. Well, I, I'm very fortunate. I've worked with Lauren Bass um, mm. from Bass Casting. Yeah. Um, and I worked with her on the haircut and we worked on this together. So I just called her up and like, Lauren, this amazing script, <laughs> like, yeah. will you read it, please? And um, she came back to, to me with some lists, but I was like, but look, the main characters are a cast. And it's always this thing when you have a casting director come on board, they want to be familiar with that person's work. But Claudia hadn't done anything really mm. before. She had just finished studying mm -hmm. and um, I, I just knew she would be incredible. Mm. You have that gut instinct yeah. as a director when you sit across yeah. from someone at a table. And I yeah. just, she was so breathtaking and intoxicating when we first met. And I was like, she's going to slay this role. Our cast was phenomenal mm -hmm. all the way from Matthew and Peter and Jenny and Heather and mm. then little baby Scarlett was just so precious. <laughs> everyone like came on board and it was all hands on deck. Yeah. And um, everyone just came because they uh, were connected to the script, which was amazing to mm. have these high level um, talented actors coming mm. to do this little baby short film. I, but listen, I think as a reflection on you, I just think you have a, a, a wonderful aura of energy and as well as being one of your talented. I want to work on your set because you're just like, I can feel how you make people feel, but how you, you know, take this to a, I mean, look, you just created this project and did it so quickly and look at what you create is absolutely beautiful. Um, you also, what I love is that, you know, particularly this month, I loved how everyone, you know, at the New Filmmakers LA, every one of the filmmakers 
were trying something I never tried before. And I mm. love how you made your first film that was with a different language that you didn't even speak. Mm -hmm. uh, how was that experience for you? It, it was phenomenal. I, I'm a huge fan of foreign language mm -hmm. films. I mean, I have to give a shout out to my favorite film, The Tribe. Like, oh, it's an all Ukrainian sign it, yeah. language. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, that's definitely a film um, I, I fell in love with mm -hmm. that was on the festival circuit a few years back. Yeah. And I'm always gravitating toward uh, foreign films for reference. Yeah. And so I just, I find... Um, other languages beautiful right. I'm sick of hearing my American accent all the time so it was great like working on an Italian yeah. film hearing the language it, it was um, I think it also just made the film different yeah. um, exploring an expat from her country who came yeah. here um, and followed a man mm. and what what is that like like being uprooted and isolated from your family and and being pregnant with this man's child who just got a divorce and you know is in that process of are we where is that going the stakes are, high, so, yeah. I, the stakes mm. are very high so it was challenging because I don't speak the language but um, what was lovely was Claudia's bilingual and super supportive it came down to the editing Emily mm. um, Mendez our editor who I've worked with on now five films. Um, her, she's so talented mm -hmm. as an editor, um, but her and I are like, okay, is this correct? Mm -hmm. Did we get this Did right? Did we get it on? So yeah. um, the blessing is Claudia came in to post and just made sure that flow was working properly um, within everything making sense language Yeah, we need, a, we need the, the authentic voice yes. to make sure everything is, you know, correct, right? Yeah. Um, now, you know, everyone was just like, I had a lot of people, audience didn't people come up to me saying, oh my goodness, that film just moved me in such a way and moved me in a way that I didn't feel like I could be moved, um, which is a credit to what you've, you've, you've all created. Um, you. What was it like to have your film, new filmmakers LA last night? Particularly, you know, I mean, we're local and global and we show films from all over the world every mm -hmm. single month. But what was it like? Because last night was special because, you know, we had United Nations for women there, women mm -hmm. in film, we liked women directors and just really putting a full focus on Women's Independence Month. What was that like? Oh, it was wonderful because I'm involved in the Alliance of Women Directors, They're Women amazing. in we Film, Femme Fatales. Those are Fatales, yeah. organizations that I believe in mm -hmm. and champion and I'm here because of them. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a magical evening just to see so many films by women on screen uh, with a lot of amazing female protagonists. Mm -hmm. And that female lens just all in one night was really special. Mm -hmm. um, I had a lot of great questions after as well. A lot of people came up to me and uh, some students who are women who are going to school. So it was really cool to answer their questions and also I'm excited to follow their progress. Yeah. I'm a huge champion of women and yeah. diverse voices yeah. um, within our community and I mentor younger um, filmmakers, um, be them women or people of diversity or even, you know, the white man. It's yeah. like we all have to just rise up together. Yeah. Um, that sounded weird saying the no. white man. No. Well, no, <laughs> because it follows on, uh, you know, speaking of which, yeah. like I, you know, I decided to launch, you know, hashtag time to step up. Which I love, um, by the way. Oh, I was you. like hashtagging last night on my Insta feed. Oh, bless I, you. I don't know if the Insta story came oh, no, through at all, but. We're, we're hashtagging the world with that. And I yeah. think, you know, now is a, a very innovative time and it's great that, you know, we're, you know, like, you know, for example, Paul Feig is, is creating the first, in a, you know, um, inclusion powder writers, cake, yeah. you know, powder cake. I mean, isn't it like nice? Because even though we've got so much work to do, yeah. but we are hopefully moving into a more united direction in yeah. filmmaking. Paul's amazing. I first met him at the Fox Filmmakers Lab. Uh, yeah. I was one of 25 women pitching on franchise films and he came to speak to us. And he's a huge champion of women and mm. female protagonists and obviously his work is very female centric yeah. which is phenomenal and then Adam Bold I mm -hmm. know as well who um, is helping launch uh, Powder Keg and yeah. he is a oh, phenomenal man. supporter of, of women and people mm. of diversity and, and it's not hard is it to actually mm. give people an equal opportunity no, it's not it's difficult not. It's, it's, not. Like, it's easy it's just your choices that we make right yeah I think so. I think it's um, it's all changing right now mm. and it's amazing that everyone's stepping up and um, I really, it's an exciting time to just be 
creative storytellers. I really genuinely, I did love your work and I love your, your, you're not just a great filmmaker, but you're also an advocate voice and something that people can look up to and inspire to. And I think we all need that in this world, you know, to yeah, have people to keep us inspired to go on. Yeah. Um, obviously you're very, very busy as you explained last night, but for those that haven't heard much of your journey, like tell us what's next for you, what are you working on, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, what's next for me is um, I'm attached to three features. Um, I'm Three? Yes, three features. I'm also, as I spoke about last night, I, I think it's so important as storytellers to constantly be creating mm -hmm. material and drumming up stories uh, to tell. Yeah. And so I, I'm constantly in development. So I'm in the process of um, working on a TV pitch that's adapted of, of two books. Um, I'm working with my amazing writing mentor on that. Amazing. And then I'm constantly developing worlds and I have uh, two other scripts I'm in development on that I'll be taking out uh, to pitch later this fall. So I'm just constantly creating on top of, I'm directing regularly mm. within television. So it's I feel amazing. very blessed. Well, well, yeah, it's, ama it's amazing. I, I love your work. I hope you can continue to shed it to our way um, because we, we, we love to see it. and. Congratulations on your film and, 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 and please bring more and uh, thank you for all your wise words for us all as well to inspire us to go out there and do it as well. So thank yeah. you. Be fucking epic yeah. and live your dream. That's what I believe Hashtag in. Hashtag that. Yeah. There you go. Hashtag live your dream. Live your yeah. dream. There I you literally go. say that on set all the time. I love it. Thank, yeah. thank you. Cool. Thanks. Thank well, you thank you guys. Thank you.